up by Peter Channel, new news report on this Tuesday afternoon, August 9th, 2016. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Peter Wiggins, and I hear 12 new news and odds on this Tuesday afternoon. Top story at the 12 noon hour on this Tuesday afternoon is the backdrop of Hillary Clinton's Orlando area. Rally could it get much stronger and stranger. It is still on appearance on Monday evening in the Papa Eisen's Bar. Although not coming, Omar Mateen showed up just steps away from the Democratic nominee. The teen breath weight is down, the dry outdoors weight is up, and Hillary Clinton is reminding me to talk secret about first signs of the virus is spreading in Florida. President Vladimir V. Putin Russia and President Recep Tayyip Erdogan in Turkey met in St. Petersburg on Tuesday to talk about diplomatic relations between the two countries. Everybody hates she's the chosen to pull this Olympics and its main for better primetime and entertainment than we have ever seen. Former Illinois Governor Ron Blakely Bridge has white hair and was wearing in prison issued clothing in a video feed from a prison in his resentencing hearing. The parents of two Americans who died in the attack over the American consulate in Benghazi, Libya, in 2012 filed suit against Hillary Clinton on Monday, alleging a former Secretary of State private email server was responsible. Islamabad, Quetta, Pakistan, Pakistan lower stage a nationwide strike on Tuesday after dozens of calls were slain in a suicide bombing at a government hospital in the southwestern city of Quetta. Raising an initiative application and emperor that reminds his neo imperial designs of the Prime Minister, but the battle between the palace and the PM judge just began. The wild pumps in Aleppo, Syria are no longer getting the power, leaving 2 million people without wine and water, and at the risk of coming under the full siege. King Down, China, the response to the Beijing and the panel of Greenland and the Valde and China's vast China Sea maritime clumses brought no surprise but much more military transparency needed to reduce tensions in the region. Jolo Island, Philippines, four other site built and started in battle with moral national mobilization Frank fighters early on today in the Philippines, seven prominence of Zulu. Rio de Janeiro, North Korean athletes said that the Rio Olympic Games may not receive their free smart Sam Fansung smartphone distributed to teams prior to the opening ceremony. Detroit, Donald Trump sought to get his assembling campaign back on track on Monday and bailed in the tax reform plan aligned with a House Speaker Paul Ryan's policy agenda. Big surf fire grows to more than 100 square miles. All rides will remain closed at the Green County Fair in Tennessee after three children fell from the first wheel Monday night. A New York City woman found dead in Massachusetts on Sunday had burns to her head and feet and police are rescued and she was sexually assaulted and then set on fire. Fox 25 reported on Tuesday, sat in sources. Washington, former Washington two former Republican heads of the Department of D.C. signed a joint letter saying that support Hillary Clinton for President over Donald Trump. Commonwealth, California, and Great Patrona on Nevada at 12 wineries in Monterey, California, being exposed to heavy smoke from the Sabrina's fire. Washington, after waking up, found the UBI, see voter daily presidential track and poll, Donald Trump for at least one day, appears to have stunned to bleeding. Jonesburg, Arkansas, the pilot of the corrupt dust of planning, died in an aggression in eastern Arkansas. Washington, the Department of Justice ordered about 1,000 attorneys and a court edition of FX training fall in a Texas judge ruling the misled. Delta's flight schedule was thrown in this way Monday after the United States took the airline reservation system offline for several hours. Balance pharmaceutical shares may be relevant wealthy told present in the morning trading Monday, but steep interest expenses versus drug makers earnings could spell violations of agreements made with a company's creditors and elsewhere, Wells Fargo said. The longest stretch of the productivity declined since the end of the next 70s, threat to the restrained U.S. worker pay and broader economic growth in the years ahead. Donald Trump will have to do more than return for a day and an after all branch of Paul Brown to a city as faltering campaign. Washington, Canada, commercial confederation has been awarded $7.6 million U.S. Navy contract for procurement of a Navy refund built and intense combat obstacles at Skarma. New York, both presses were relatively tied in the early rounds of trading Tuesday as market watchers pulled back into the curtain on moment of the supply and demand. Manila, contributors from multilateral and London facilities are popular in the global low carbon future and official at the Asian. Development Bank said Washington FTC soon when it entered contacts the largest online US contact lenses retail and accusation reach agreements with competitors that list led customers. Baku Ajman projects a meaning and exploited in strategic position in Caspian Sea and then sort of natural gas or national priorities, as Ajman, Iran and Russia said. Comment with Tuttle, the source of the annual person of Mary Show, is seen in this false code review captured by Swamir so Jim Scott at the University of Arizona's Lunar Planetary Laboratory. 
The Ice Cube experiment reports well in that on high degree as a certain to say that the existence of the theoretical low mass scale of neutrino, the Rubik scientists, on the world's largest neutrino experiment, Ice Cube dealt a heavy blow to the theories produced a new one. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has been orbiting the Red Planet for a decade, sending photos back to the Earth every month as it goes around. At first look, three particular tropical diseases can be seen me unrelated. They affect millions of people worldwide by the much different ways. Middle and lower income countries have a higher rate of hypertension and higher income countries worldwide. The prevalence of hypertension is a record high, according to new study in the journal Circulation. The percentage of Americans will say they are currently smoke marijuana and has nearly doubled since 2013. The new survey found 33% of adults in the U.S. House Speaker Paul Ryan is aiming at a removal to the past of primary contest Tuesday that drew sudden national news for race week thanks to the Republican nominee Donald Trump. A quite a Republican campaign to ask Senator Ted Cruz in the next circle of Texas primary is unfolding as the conservative firebrand is launched an aggressive effort to keep a seat ahead of the number likely run for the White House. One Democrat Hillary Clinton brings the President Kevin in Michigan this week. Jill Tilbury, jobs and economic speech and warning committee that has been the assault of business and the defense and aerospace industries. All right, take a look at some local news. Out of Earth, the condition of jogger quickly injured after being struck by an SUV in South Africa on Monday morning has been improved. The hospital spokesman said Tuesday morning. Ken Chan Tim, 316, active Jersey, a town near Hackensack, was a great serious condition at Redown Hospital in Providence, being listed Monday night in critical condition. Tim, who was in town visiting family near, was struck by an SUV on Highland Avenue around 8.30 a.m. Monday near Cumberland Street, but near the Cumberland town, according to the police, caused the accident was still investigation by a city and state police near charge of the man. Lean file according to police. Somerville, Massachusetts State Police say a man spotted a turn page to farm a bomb and then thrown him in the traffic wall, walking around the Massachusetts to turn back the same man suspected of stealing police cruiser at the State Police cruiser. He was spotted on the westbound side of the highway in the new one about 7 a.m. on Tuesday. He fled by was resident a short time later. Trevor's recognized man has been on security video stealing the cruiser Monday from the Department of Transportation Maintenance Facility. The suspect was made same as the kid took in the vehicle, which was located in Somerville. Alright, let's take a look at the stock market and commodity report on this Tuesday afternoon. The Dow up 51 for 56 points today, 8,000, 5,8.85. SP 5 up 5,96 points at 2,186 for 85. That's up 24 for 45 points at 5,237.60. The DAX up 26.54 points at 10,692 for 90. FTSE up 42 for 17 points at 6,851.30 and CAC up 32 for 61 points at 4,468.07. Asian markets, Nikkei up 114.40 points at 6,764.97. Shanghai up 21 for 63 points at 2,025.91. HSI down 29 for 15 points at 22,465.61. Oil markets, oil 42 for 99, down 3 cents. Brent 45 for 24, down 15 cents. And Natural Gas 2.655, down 93,000 a point. And gold markets up 4 30 at 1345.60. Server 1984 up 35,000 a point. And copper 2.1525 up down 125,000 a point. And the bond yield 10 yield 1.5712%, down 14,000 a point. Bend the 10 yield open 076%, up 2,000 a point. And Germany's 10 yield open 082%, down 29,000 a point. And in the FX bond, European yield saw 1.1109, up 19,000 a point. You saw German yen 102.03, down 40 cents. And Great Bear Pound, US dollar 1.3004, down 34,000 a point. Alright, looking at commodities on this Tuesday. In the Apple Futures, it is wheat. 414 3 quarters, down 2 and a quarter. Soybean, 985, up 10. Corn, 334.25, down 50 cents. Sugar, 20.62, up 7 cents. Coffee, 141.20, up 10 cents. Cotton, 73.05, down 3. Red Fries, 9.69, up 3 cents. And Coco 2972 down 59 and live cattle 150.625 up 975,000 a point. Lay down 48.40 down 45 cents and FDA cattle 150.65 up 1.525. Alright. Peter Taylor News Live is now 1209 and it's time now for Sports Report today. The Boston Red Sox tonight will be taking on the Yankees in the first round of three game series at Fenway Park. Game time 7 10 p.m. Simon Biles, Gabby Douglas, Madison Cosana, Larry Hernandez, and Alec Grace want to try to lock up the team gold medal on Tuesday. Team USA, some of the still rats, Venezuela. Tim Tebow hasn't reached the same amount as professional football. The Michael Jordan reached in professional basketball, but that does mean he needs to page from George Buck when it comes to the second second graduate school sports as <coughs> he turns it attention to baseball. Clayton Cavalier and Boston Celtics could both agree with Kevin Love's trade deal that a link between Kevin Love and the Boston Celtics are close to becoming a reality report. 
There's no secret a couple of years ago that the Cleveland and Kevin Love did not get along, but both the franchise that played made it work last season. As also in the 2016 Olympic Games, Brazil's welcome in the entire world and there's living room this month, but some 30 of in Asia now. So, a thrilling August Open house party is in the reunitation and hoping to lure tourists to sell its Western wheel. The wheel Olympics and finals now. You're saying both fans will get to the sprint and an actor during the games as he plays that he has done everything and proven himself. In early hours of Sunday, it's ending one and else sports that are in. As these trip driven the Olympic Games threat to their value. There's still nearly two more weeks of events to the Rio Olympics and sports haven't been conditioned. Travel field, Batman and Taekwondo among them. Peter Jones, I'm Sam, 12 10 on this Tuesday afternoon, and it is time now for our traffic and transit report. <laughs> Let's study up in the NBTA where the Red Eye Brain Tree Bench appears to Mondelez did an early weekend track work, track work today. SL5 and SL4 was pissed in mono lanes of still behind due to traffic on the cotton meter rail. It's looking good, and on the ferries, they are looking good. And now, take a look at the subway. Take a look at the highways and byways. Where the highways and byways, New York City, are Sligo, 95 minutes south of time. It is back up in Norwalk, all to Stanford. 95 minutes south of Greenwich to Stanford. Merritt Parkway on the West Pantiles back to the Stanford Switch. A4 on the East Bound and West Pantiles also for Newtown and down to Waterbury. 91 on the North Pantiles. It is back to around Route 9 and Middletown. Route 9 in the East Pantiles also on the Middletown Stretch. 95 on both ends also on 79 in Guilford, Connecticut. 91 on the South Pantiles back to 291 and 57 in Springfield. Mass Park Interstate 90 on the Berkshire Ferry East Pantiles also headed towards the Massachusetts border. At number 9, 610 connector on the West Pantiles. It is backed up from 95 from Providence to Cranston. Route 3 on the South Pantai is backed up from 18 Weymouth to Braintree. Route 3 on the North Pantai is backed up from Weymouth out through the Braintree split. So, the best way on the North Pantai is slow from Braintree all the way out to Dorchester. And 93 on the North Pantai is slow on the Boston stretch. Mass back on the West Pantai is also around the also back tolls. 120 both ends a little slow around Route 3 in Burlington. 3 on the South Pantai is slow around 13 in Burlington, just around the Burlington Mall. 91 on the North Pantai is backed up on the Deerfield stretch. Here's the A73 in Albany, it's a little so. Here's the A in the East Pass out of Backdown, it's in Nectar East Stitch. 93 in the South Pass out of Backdown, same way up to down to Lawrence, Massachusetts. 93 in the North Pass out of Lawrence, Manchester Church. 93 in the South Pass out of Backdown, 101 in Manchester, all the way up in the past 293 in Manchester, Hampshire. 89 and 91 in the South Pass out of Lawrence, after the Canadian up in Vermont. 91 in the North Pass out of before the Canadian up in Vermont. A7 and slow both ends up around Route 11 in Plattsburgh, around the Canadian board in Plattsburgh, New York. And Interstate A1 and in, on both ends, also around Corpton, New York, and New York State 4 West Bound Side, also around Route 190 in Buffalo, New York. Peter Chell News, I'm 12 13 on this Tuesday afternoon, and it's time now for a weather report. And take a look at our current conditions here in Norton, Massachusetts at the 12 13 p.m. The temperature is. 85 degrees with a humidity of 46%. The 2.5 is 63 degrees. Heat index 87 degrees. Barometer state at 3.18 and wind speed is calm. Alright, our current conditions around the region on this Tuesday afternoon. It's 73 degrees in Boston. A pair of 77s in Beverly and Gloucester, Massachusetts. A pair of 81s out in Fitchburg and Concord. And 81 degrees also in Jeffrey and Natural and Manchester. 78 in Worcester, 80 in Norwood. It's 82 in Taunton. It's 83 in New Bedford. It's Say 7 in Plymouth, 76 in Pond Sand, 75 in Chenham, it's 89 in Falmouth, 83 in Montgomery, 79 in Nantucket, it's 82 in Providence, 77 in Block Island, 70 in Montauk, it's 83 in Islip, 84 in New York State, it's 82 in Bridgeport, New Haven, it's 81 out in Danbury, Waterbury, and Hartford, Woods Locks, 84 in Merriam, Kedak, 79 8 out in Springfield, 79 out in Orange, Massachusetts, 77 in Albany, New York, and North Anderson, Pittsfield, Massachusetts, 76 in Surrey Springs, 75 from Lebanon, New Hampshire, and Rutland, and Bennington, and Bramber, Vermont. 79 out in Keene, New Hampshire. 82 degrees in Concord, New Hampshire. 79 degrees in Lake New Hampshire. 77 degrees in Portland, Maine. And 75 up in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Alright, look at that. The search map around the country shows the station we had search about in Nevada. Stretching it out, Warman merged with a coast front from Warman. Up into the Ontario station front for the Northern Ontario. Warm front down to Kansas, a coast front from Oklahoma, stretching all the way down to Louisiana, and a station front from the Louisiana Gulf Coast stretching out over to the Carolinas and out to sea, with a pair of low pressures around the Mississippi and Alabama Gulf Coast. Off the bias stretching from East Central California down for southwestern Arizona down for Gulf of California, and got a warm front stretch from the northeastern Ontario and down for western Quebec, 
And we got low pressure around Eastern Washington State and around the San Francisco Bay. And high pressure ridges in the Four Corner region and New England. It is 83 degrees out in Detroit, 81 in Pittsburgh, 76 in Washington, D.C. It's 78 out in Atlanta, Georgia. It's 87 in Miami, Forts, and in Dallas, Texas. It's 9 in Brownsville, Texas. 82 in Kansas City, 80 in Chicago. 77 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 76 in Omaha, Nebraska, 60 degrees in Great Falls, Montana, 59 in Seattle, 59 in Los San Francisco, 69 in Los Angeles, 86 in Las Vegas, 84 in Salt Lake City, 80 in Denver, 75 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 90 degrees out in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, let us take a look at the radar situation around the country on this noon hour. And it shows this is going to be our system. Uh, band of heavy showers and storms stretch around the Gulf states and switching from Alabama, stretching into the Carolinas and uh, the southeast of the southwestern portions of Virginia. A lot of rain showers stretching in the north central Texas, just east west of Dallas, Fort Worth. Patchy rain showers in the northeastern and western portions of Oklahoma and Texas Panhandle. A lot of showers and storms around southern Arizona and north, north central Mexico. And a lot of rain shots from eastern Iowa and south central Minnesota. And a little patchy rain shots from Montana and up in the northern and eastern portions of Wyoming and northern Iowa and eastern portions of Washington. And rain shots in the northeastern portions of Oregon. A lot of rain shots from British Columbia and after Alberta and after western and west central portions of Saskatchewan. A lot of rain shots stretching from east central Saskatchewan and southern Manitoba and western portions of Ontario and northeastern portions of Ontario. Alright, take a look at the satellite loop. It shows a line of clouds coming up to Gulf States around Florida. Line of clouds from North Carolina switching out to sea. Petri clouds from Ontario switching to western portions of... ...and eastern portions of Quebec. And a line of clouds from eastern Washington and Oregon switching to northern Idaho down for western and eastern portions of Montana down for northern and eastern portions of Wyoming. And a line of clouds from southeast of Arizona and southwestern of Mexico down for Mexico. And a line of clouds from British coming in down for Alberta down for western portions of Saskatchewan. All right, let's take a look at what is going in the tropics. Nothing burning the Atlantic, and the latest advisory on Javier is now at tropical depression with 35 miles of wind gusts, central location 23.8 and 111.2 to the west, moving northwest around 7 miles an hour. And expect to become a remnant low soon and at 9 a.m. Mountain time, the center of tropical depression, Javier is located in the latitude 23.8 to the north, lots of 111.2 to the west, the depression moving toward the northwest near 7 miles an hour, and this general motion is expected to continue for Wednesday on the forecast director, the center will be continued in the move near or over the south from Baja Capital Peninsula for the next day to match the same with that 35 miles an hour higher gust. We need to forecast that Javier is likely to become a remnant low by Wednesday, and this may minimum center pressure is 1,006 millibars. 21 inches and half year expect to be produced storm total rainfall of 2 to 4 inches over Bob Cavan in the northwest maximum by Thursday morning. For maximum amounts of the 8 inch possible moisture pressure related to Javier spread into Arizona and New Mexico where 2 to 4 inches rain and with maximum amounts of 8 inches of possible Thursday. As expected rainfall could cause life threatening flash floods and mudslides. Alright, take a look at what it else. It's going to be a beautiful day on top today, and it's going to be very humid for the rest of the week. Starting on Wednesday, it's going to be scattered storms tomorrow. It's going to be drying out on Thursday, and expect a weekend down for us, but we are watching. We are watching. And we got forecast discussion. High pressure will move offshore this afternoon. We'll bring some one more dry day of dry seasonal weather. Huge humidity will increase Wednesday into the weekends. The front stalls near our region, which should also bring runs of showers and then storms with a much needed rainfall to... Alleviate the drought. Because I've seen some grass that is brown, it could use a much needed drink of water. And just a few very minor temperature due weather adjustments and match current conditions. Fairly sunshine today, just some diurnal cumulus scotch. Onshore breezes will already be developed high temperature to reach around 90 lower clerk and Merrimack Valley where 88 is elsewhere, but will hold close to 80 and immediate south coast keeping the out. So, expected today's highs to be 89 degrees, and tonight's low is going to be 60 to 70 degrees at tomorrow's highs, 80 85 degrees at Thursday's highs, 88 to 94 degrees. Alright, seven day forecast. Oh, how's this weather outlook? Because 
Wednesday to be a low risk, but a few strong thunderstorms and gusty winds Wednesday afternoon. The DD local area rainfall is also possible on Thursday and Saturday. Hot and humid weather may result in afternoon. The index miles near one other times. So the heat advisory at 17 more to be. Be the end times late this week. All right, 74 guys goes like this. Part time. That's afternoon in South Carolina, 84 degrees. East would about 5 miles coming to 9 and bearable. Tonight, most coasts go about 63 degrees. South would about 5 and 9 miles and come to 9 after midnight. Wednesday, check the shots of the shots of thunderstorms back after 3 p.m. So the source could every rain. Catch back before 9 a.m. was. It could have had about 81 degrees. South would about 3 to 7 miles and I. Chance of 6%. New rain for miles between the temp and the high miles possible thunderstorms. Go with that. Check the shots of thunderstorms main before 1 a.m. So the source could have every rain. Catch back after 1 a.m. was. Most guys got about 7 degrees, that force about 6 miles and chest patients, 4 percent. New rain amounts between the top point and the time on possible thunderstorms. For Thursday, most of the podcast are about 90 about 6 degrees, what's about 5 to 9 miles an hour for Friday? A 30 percent check the shots of thunderstorms after 7 a.m. with some parts of the most guys got about 91 about 72 degrees. For Saturday, check the shots of thunderstorms after 7 a.m. parts of the most guys got about 92 about 7 degrees, chest patients, 4 percent. For Sunday, Monday, shots of thunderstorms like the high set and they be 80 to 80 degrees and my days has to be 80 degrees and chance of participation over the days 6% and Peter's water phrase of the afternoon. Eh? One more day of nice weather and much needed rain coming on Wednesday. Peter Wiggins, and that's going to be it for the Peter Channel New News Board on this August 9th, 2016 on a Tuesday. I'm Peter Woods. Hope you have a good afternoon with a good positive journal. So at 4 o'clock for a Peter Channel, 4 o'clock news. I hope you have a good rest of the afternoon. I'll see you at 